welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to day four of Keytober. This morning I am joined by this little nugget, Cooper, who is being an absolute pain in my booty. He is being so bad, which is why I'm holding him so he can't do anything bad while I film this intro. But it is currently 10.47 a.m. I have like 25 minutes and I need to take the pups to potty again. I need to make myself some breakfast. I need to get ready for CrossFit. So let's get this day started and I'm excited to bring y'all along with me. Woo, Keytober day four. Oh, anyone want a puppy? He's for sale. He's being so bad, mm, but I love him. I do, but he's so bad. <laughs> All right, first up is a potty break. Come on. Come on, little crazy. Come on. Stop attacking his leash. For my first meal of the day, I'm gonna pop one of these keto pigs in a blanket in my toaster oven and let that toast so I'll have something in my stomach before I go work out. I just got home from CrossFit and I'm currently holding this one hostage because he will not stop biting me. He is being so bad. Mm hmm. But I was unfortunately not able to record any of my CrossFit workout. There was just too many people in the gym today, but it was definitely brutal. I'm just like really struggling through all the workouts lately. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I just don't have any gas in the tank from the beginning. I can't even record a video right now because this is what's going on. Let it go! Let it go! Oh, <laughs> just give me my hair. Like I was saying, it's like I'm starting on empty and I just struggle through the entire workout. I don't know if it's because my thyroid levels have been a little off and maybe this medicine change we just made will help me feel better, but it's just like I've had a lack of energy and it sucks and I hate it and it's so entirely frustrating. <sighs> Anyways, sorry for my rant. It is now 1.15. I have to leave for the vet in about 30 to 35 minutes. This little terrible dog gets his third rounds of shots today. Yeah, you're gonna get poked. You're gonna get poked and prodded. I'm gonna go attempt to make myself something to eat before I take him to the vet. Before I even think about making lunch, I decided that I'm gonna make myself some iced coffee. I made a big old pot of coffee this morning and never got around to drinking it. I'm also spilling coffee everywhere. Okay, got my mess cleaned up. I'm gonna add in a splash of heavy whipping cream, some of my pumpkin pie sugar-free syrup because it's October, so you obviously have to drink pumpkin-related drinks. The final step now is just to mix it together and drink it. But look at this metal straw I have. It's like all kinds of pretty colors. Oh la la. So yeah, I am just going to drink this because I need some caffeine to deal with that little monster of mine. I could not get my ducks in a row quick enough to eat lunch before this vet appointment. So I am just running off of iced coffee. But me and Cooper, old cute little boy, we just pulled up at the vet. He's getting his third of four rounds of shots. So much closer to being able to take him out in public because until they're fully vaccinated, I can't take him anywhere for safety. I don't want him to get sick. But yeah, time to go inside and get his shots, yay! He acts so good at the vet compared to his crazy self at home, right? Mm -hmm. Just look at that little face. Oh my God, he's just so cute, look at it. Look at it, oh, you're so cute, you really are. But you're crazy too, you are. <laughs> look at this kitty rocking a Halloween costume. Oh my gosh, look at how cute he is. Look at how good he's been versus, you know, 30 minutes ago when he was attacking me. We are back from the vet and Cooper did great. However, my poor little sweet baby is hurting and it's killing my heart. 
Oh my god, I, I don't know if I can take this. But he is sore from the two shots that they gave him in his back legs. Which, you hear him crying? He's gonna break my heart! The vet told me it's very common. He's probably going to be sore and not feel very good this afternoon. But I got home and I'm very hungry and we have nothing to eat in our fridge except leftovers. This is the rest of my leftover hamburger cauliflower casserole that I made the other day. This casserole is just so freaking good. I cannot get over how good it is. We just made plans to go and grill out at Cody's brother's and sister-in-law's house later this evening evening. So Cody picked up some steaks. We're going to go over to Kyle and Monica's I guess in probably a few hours and grill out tonight. So it should be fun. Okay guys, are y'all ready to see the coolest wine opener ever? ka -chow. It's a wine opener that looks like a pistol. Look at how funny this is. Oh my gosh. So if y'all don't know, Cody's in wine sales and our house looks like a fraternity house because he always gets good deals on wine. So yeah, look at this. This is so funny to me. You pull the trigger and down here is the wine opener. Look at that. Oh, just look at this sleepy boy. Oh, yeah. You were worried about your brother earlier when he wasn't feeling good. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. Well, there's been a change of plans. We were supposed to go over to Kyle and Monica's a few minutes ago, but this little baby just is not feeling good. He just is sad, and I'm not going to leave me a sad puppy at home. He just isn't feeling good. So, I am staying here, and Cody just left and is going to Kyle and Monica's, and he's going to cook me a steak and bring me a little take-home plate to eat because I am not going to leave this baby. I get a lot of questions about where I find affordable active wear. So I found this set on Amazon and I wanted to share it with y'all because it is awesome and affordable. So I guess the dogs are helping me show this off, but this is like a long sleeve ombre set. And if you've ever heard of Gymshark, they're like a premier activewear brand. And they sell a set pretty much identical to this for like well over $100. And I believe I got this set for under $40. So I will link this entire set below in the description. But this material is so thick and like luxury feeling. Oh my gosh, it looks so good on. So I just had to share it with you and I'm gonna have to go pick up Bo so I can move it so he's not using it as a dog bed. But yeah, I just had to share because it's so, so good. And they have a bunch of different colors too. Cody just got home and he brought me home dinner. Yay! So he cooked me a steak for dinner and he brought me home some mushrooms. But he did forget the salad. He left it over there. So I cut up half of an avocado to go with it. So just a simple, delicious dinner. I'm actually so excited for this. This steak sounds so good. This is what it looks like. I've got my steak, my avocado with a little bit of pink Himalayan salt on it, and some mushrooms. Just look at how sweet this baby is when he's tired. Oh, yeah. Oh, big yawn. Wow. Oh. Hey, guys. It is now the next morning. I flat out forgot to film an outro last night after we had dinner. We just laid down on the couch with the pups, watched Shane Dawson's new video, and then we all fell asleep. So, good news is Cooper feels so much better this morning. He is back to his bad little self. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry it was not the most exciting day of days, but some days are just not that exciting. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all tomorrow with another video. Bye, guys! Mm-hmm.